Now in this identity, we've got to show that cosec theta all divided by cot theta plus tan theta is identical to cos theta. So to do that then, we'll stick up proof and I'm going to copy down the left hand side because it's a lot more complicated than the right hand side here. So we'll start with this expression. Okay, so we've got cosec theta all over cot theta plus tan theta. Now what do I notice? Well, what we've got to get is a cosine in our answer, cos theta. And cosec theta is 1 over sine theta. Cot theta is 1 over tan theta. But because I want cosines, I'm going to go for a cosine sine version of this, which is cos theta over sine theta. And tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So it's always a good idea to keep using cosines and sines that you can link them together through various identities and this gives us the clue because we've got to get a cos theta here. So writing this out again then is going to be 1 divided by sine theta for cosec theta and then all of this is divided by cot theta which is the same as cos theta over sine theta and tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Now we have a very awkward fraction here and we need to tidy it up. And we need to remove the sine theta there, all the fractions, that sine theta there and that cos theta there. And the way we can do this is to use a common method it's not really a trick, but it's a common method where we times by 1. And how do we form this one for this question? Well, we want something that the sine theta, these two sine thetas, and this cos theta cancel it into. And that would be sine theta cos theta. So we multiply top and bottom by sine theta cos theta we're essentially multiplying by 1. And that's not going to alter the value of this, but just change the appearance. It's going to simplify it. So, what do we get? Well, on the top, if we multiply 1 over sine theta by sine theta cos theta, I'll just do it over here just quickly for you. Okay, you should be able to do this in your head, mind you, but uh, nonetheless, those two sine thetas cancel and you're left with cos theta. So you get cos theta on the top and then all divided by and if we take this term cos theta over sine theta and multiply it now by this sine theta cos theta can you see that the sine thetas would cancel leaving you with cos theta times that cos theta there so you get cos squared theta. Then we come to this term sine theta over cos theta times with sine theta cos theta. This time the cos thetas would cancel, leaving you with sine theta times sine theta. So that's going to be plus sine squared theta. All right, we'll just take that out. Now, do you recognize anything? You should recognize that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. That is a well-known identity. You should be familiar with that should know that it comes to 1. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is always 1. So what we've got here is just simply cos theta over 1. And what's cos theta over 1? Well, cos theta. And that's what we had to prove. All right.